AK, what's the difference coming into the second year mm -hmm. of doing OTAs versus, say, your first year? Uh, I say it's a lot different. I feel more comfortable. I have a better understanding of what I'm doing nowadays compared to year one, where I was still trying to figure myself out, try to figure out what the NFL looks like. So I said this year I'm definitely more excited because I have an understanding of what's coming ahead. And from the perspective of you know having someone like Grady Jarrett to bring you along that first year, but now you have a Calais Campbell as well. How's that been for you so far? I mean, I love it. I enjoy every single moment. Just the knowledge you pick up from those guys, you know, every day, especially Grady is someone that I hang with a lot. Just picking up every little nuggets I possibly can. What's it like to be out here you know, today playing in front of, in front of fans? Well, I love it. Last time we've been out here was uh, for the last game, yeah. you know, being back. There's an excitement that goes with it. I mean, it just makes me a little bit more excited for the season. It's nice to, it's nice to be out here, but I'm sure it's still a business trip. You guys still have some work to get out here. It definitely is. You definitely want to come out here, you know, enjoy the environment at the same time, uh, be locked in. The goal is always to get 1% better every time you step on the field. So that's what we try to do today. I think we did, did a pretty good job at it. Take me back to the first conversation that you had with Ryan Nielsen. And, and what was that like? And what was kind of his... I guess talking points to you about what he wanted to see you do this year. Well, it's actually funny. Uh, I was in L.A. I had, I had no idea. He texted me. And he said, uh, I think he texted me, then he called me. Uh, he said, it's Ryan Nelson. And I'm confused. I'm like, who is that? <laughs> and then he said, a new D.C. Well, it was basically about uh, he was excited, as I was. Uh, the main point was, uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to put a lot of work in, and that's just, just what we intend to do uh, the rest of these OTAs and going into training camp. One thing that he talked about in his very, very first press conference is that the identity of this defense was to be violent. Yeah. How do you see him kind of enacting that even in you know these OTA practices where you're not tackling or anything like that? Yeah, 100%. You can feel it. You can definitely feel the intent. They intend to be violent every time we out there on the field. I mean, as a defense, our, our identity is to go out there and be the most physical defense. So you can definitely feel it. Uh, he preaches it every day. Piggybacking on Tori's question, what's maybe one technique that you worked on in the offseason that's going to help you to be that violent player? Well, I think for me personally, the main thing that I had to do is uh, add a little bit more weight to my frame. And I think that's something that I, I made an emphasis this offseason. And I think I'm about... I have a couple more pounds to go, but I'm right where I want to be leading up to camp. I've been going through this practice with, uh, I've been going through this practice, like when you went through this as a rookie, how can that help some of like, What does it help you get used to and adjust to your business? Well, you say compared to, uh, well, I think, I think as a rookie, everything just moves uh, way faster. Uh, I mean, you're more nervous and you want to make your mark. You want to impress uh, the veterans. But I think going into your second year, well, I think it comes with experience. I'm having played the whole season. Uh, I think everything is just uh, way slower than it was when I first got here. And my knowledge of the game also got better. So I'll I say it's a combination of a little bit of everything. I know you guys aren't like tackling and hitting, but there's just been any rookies that have done anything yet just kind of stood out to you? Well, you know, usually as a rookie when you come in, you're not used to uh, – the speed, uh, the OTA speed. I mean, in college, we don't really have any OTA speed. So usually a rookie tends to like go full speed at time. And it just comes down to learning from the vet. I remember last year when I got here, I was trying to go full speed and I was watching Jake. And at first I was amazed. I had no idea what OTA speed it looked like, but I still going into year two. I'm, I'm just following the lead. Um, overall, just how did you feel being at the bend with the fans here and the energy mm -hmm. having this OTA workout? Yeah, I mean, you know, growing up two hours away uh, down in Spartanburg, South Carolina, I mean, it's always been something you hear about Mercedes Benz, Atlanta Falcons, you know, and growing up, I always like, whatever, whenever I played Madden, I was playing with the Falcons, so it's, it's kind of like a dream come true to, to be here and get an opportunity to, to be around these guys, but um, more than anything, just be close to home and, and then just enjoy the experience. Kind of what stood out to you the most about this? It is a state of the art facility, so what's mm -hmm. about to you the most of today? I mean, it doesn't it doesn't get much better than this, and you know, I played in here a couple times already, and you know, now excited to like be here more often and be around this this facility and, and these guys, and I, I, you know, the fans amazing, the people in this organization are amazing, 
you guys are amazing. So, you know, just just happy to be here. The media barely gets that you guys are amazing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, for you, I mean, I know there's no pads, there's no hitting, but what are you really just trying to, to improve on during the Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I got here a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. Um, I mean, you guys could, could see it like uh, we're definitely, you know, progressing every day. Um, but just building chemistry with, with these guys and, you know, them seeing how I run routes, me seeing how they like to throw routes, um, and then gelling. I mean, you know, I think, you know, from the first two weeks, week and a half of me being here, it's just been, like, great transitioning from, you know, not being somewhere to, like, now being in the fold and, and them helping me get, a, you know, get along faster and faster. And, yeah, just, you know, just really good. Just building the chemistry. What's your early impressions of Desmond so far? Oh, great. Great football player, uh, great teammate, um, great teammate, great football player, uh, natural born leader, um, everything that you want in a quarterback. Um, and obviously he can play and he can he can throw that ball too. So um, I'm excited to see what, what he can do. Um, you know, they, they play uh, tough nose football. I mean, they want to be the most physical group out there. and. You know, I went to Stanford, and that's you know that's what we um, prided ourselves on is just being the most physical and the smartest team out there, um, and then you know letting your natural talent uh, you know come about after after the fact. Um, and I mean, you know, growing up, you hear about you know how you know the team, but like being inside is like wow. So this is you know what they have going on, and it's like it's a really good organization and a really good process and and how they they win games and. You know, I'm just excited to, to help um, get them to where they where they want to be. Was there anything coming into this team that surprised you that you didn't expect? Like you're saying, like things you learn once you're actually on the inside of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest thing is how welcoming everybody was. You know, right off the back. Um, I mean, you know, it's kind of like, you know, if you change schools or you know your first day in, in, in the university and you don't know anybody, and then you kind of make some mutual connections here and there, and then. I felt like two or three days in, I was just welcomed in as a player, as if I had been here from from the beginning. Um, and I think you know that just goes along with you know just the the welcoming part of the the organization that they have going on here, and just you know how good everybody is, not only as a football player but as a person. Yeah, I mean the biggest thing is just not to get ahead of myself. Um, like I said, I just got here a week and a half ago. Um, there's going to be some good things that I do. There's going to be some bad things that I do, and there's going to. But you know, as long as I'm working towards getting better every day, um, and you know, everything that I do bad, learn from it. Everything that I do good, build on it. Um, you know, then we'll just keep on steadily, steadily climbing. Um, and that's the thing. Like, you know, good days or bad days, you just got to flush it and, and and move on to the next day, and you know, keep getting better. No, no, yeah, no. I heard about this like a couple of days ago. Or I think it was like last week, and I was like, "Wait, really? Like fans? You know, family in, in the state Mercedes? Like I didn't, I didn't think I was gonna be in here until like late July or August at the earliest." So, um, and this is this is a good thing because like you don't your first time here, you don't want it to be during game day. You want to get a pretty good you know taste of what it's gonna be like being here. Yeah, because Coach Chris always talks about like building that home field advantage. He wants it to be hard for other teams and players. So this yep. help you kind of create that home field advantage just for you guys being yeah. here so early. Yeah, I mean definitely. You play half your games at home, you know, and if you play half the games and you already have an advantage, I mean, you know, it's the NFL. You know, you got to find an advantage, you know, you know, the right way, any way that you can. And obviously, this is a special place, so you know, you want to keep it special by by winning here. Anyone specifically kind of take you under their wing? Like kind of like when you, you're you only here like a week, anyone kind of be like, hey man, let me show you the ropes or anything, like any teammates specifically? Or um, you know, I'd say just the whole receiver group in general. Um, everybody, like any kind of questions that I have, they're more inclined to, more than inclined to answer. Any kind of work that mm -hmm. I need, um, they're more than happy to, to tell me how it gets done. And um, yeah, I mean, just the whole receiver group in general, it's like, it's not a, it's not a, you know, a, a group where it's like, oh, you know, like you got to figure it out. Um, it's like, you know, we're all trying to get better together um, and create that, that core group of people that's going to go out there and battle. Um, and obviously, you know, when one wins, everybody wins. So, yeah. 
So, you know, why is it so important for you as a veteran to be here in these voluntary workouts and, and, and help kind of the younger guys that are here? Um, you know, it's important to me. I, I just enjoy being around the guys, but at the same time, I'm here to work on my craft as well, you know, and, um, you know, learn a new defense, you know, growing some rapport with my new teammates and uh, new coaches. And it's important to me because by the time training can't come, you want to be hitting the ground running and uh, knowing what you're doing. So, um, I, and I enjoy being back with the team, you know what I'm saying? So anytime I get an opportunity to touch the field, you know, it's a blessing. So I, I just take a full advantage of it. What have been your first impressions of Ryan so far and the defense that he's trying to do? Yeah, man, super, super intense guy, super detailed and, uh, you know, D-line driven. So, you know, I can't, I can't uh, complain about that. So um, I'm getting some of the, you know, some of the best coaching and instruction I've had. And um, I'm super, super excited to, you know, see it translate on the field. So, and, um, and as far as the whole defense, I mean, everybody taking good, taking to them. And uh, we got some new pieces in. So I'm, I'm excited to see what we cook up, you know, through this, this time, training camp coming. And, uh, and deep, I think, I think it's going to be a good time. I know there's no hitting or tackling, but what are your early impressions of just Bijan? I mean, you know, certain dudes, you get to see the way they move, you know, special, the way you carry yourself. And, uh, but, you know, he's he going to be a heck of a player. You know, he put so much tape out already, you know, through his college career, but I'm sure they're going to have a great plan for him. And um, I, I don't see him, you know, missing, missing the beat. So, um, you know, the better he do, the better for the team. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I'm sure, I'm sure he's going to do a great job. When, going when, back you, to when you see a guy like Dijon, what is it, like you said, there are things that you see special. What is it that you saw that you're like, oh, I got it. Yeah, I think just like the movement skills, you know, it just seemed like effortless, nice flow. Hey, Papa, you want to come down here? Huh? <laughs> 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 Why are y'all talking about that? <laughs> <laughs> He's excited. Yep, 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 yep. He's like, Why are y'all talking about that? <laughs> but yeah, B. John's you know, going to be a super special player, and I'm excited to watch him. I'm, happy, I'm glad to be his teammate. You were saying effortless movement. Oh, yeah, yeah, just just little movement skills and stuff like Y'all hold on. I got to get, yeah, get my yeah, baby yeah, one yeah. second. <laughs> <laughs> Back on camera. Yeah. <laughs> right now. Good dick. What's up, Mike? Can we start back now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should just ask it. Uh, as far as like you said, after this movement, like, how did you see that? Like, what was it that you saw? That? I mean, you've been being in the league not going on nine years now. You just know when certain guys, you know, they're just a little different. You know what I'm saying? And that's why the team went up to choose them, and they, they seen some. But I mean, I'm I'm still new, just learning them. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But so I'm just watching like you guys as a, as a teammate and also as a fan. I'm excited to see what's gonna do in the league. Most about what you up. Uh, Getting everybody together. I know during the all season you saw all the new acquisitions that were coming in. You watched the draft. Not to see it on the field. What has it been like for you? Um, it's been it's been a really really good journey and seeing the new pieces come together. You know, um, whether it's from the free agent acquisitions or the draft picks coming along. And you know, each day is a new day. You know, so you get to see the gel and be better. So playing with a new defense, a lot of new defensive players, and then watching the offense come together with the pieces they put on the side. It's 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 good. It's good to see. You know, and I think it was training in the right direction. I'm a super super excited for the season. This is a nice trip to come downtown. But it's a business trip too. Mm -hmm. Has some business to take care of. Yeah, yeah, that, absolutely. You know, nice trip. It was good to have the fans come out here and support us. But I think the most important thing, you know, was us to take it as a work day as well, get better today, which we did. And uh, But, you know, it can't beat that with being in front of the fans. You know what I'm saying? So it's been a good good double, double edge. We saw you, you know, go down the line, sign 100 autographs when you were talking to fans here or if you've seen the publics, whatever. Do you get a different sense of optimism, confidence from fans going into this season? Uh, yeah, I think the fans are always excited, you know what I'm saying? And that's that's good to have, especially when they, they're excited about the moves that the team making. You know, they're excited to see me back. I'm like, hey, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so, so that's always a good day, you know what I'm saying? And whenever they take the time out of their day to come support us, it means the world, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's 100,000 or 10, you know what I'm saying? So that means that the Falcons is on their mind and they're in the right place today and hopefully we gave them a good show. And I mean, it's, you know, it's kind of chicken in the egg, right? But when you guys start winning and this place starts rocking, how yeah. key will that be to you guys taking that next step, building that home field Man, advantage? it's going to be key. It's going to be key definitely building the whole field advantage. We did better last season than the season before winning at home. So we want to continue to build off that, continue to win on the road. But we want when people come in here, they want to fear playing in here. And uh, But that's going to start with us taking care of our job on the field first. I want to go back real quick. Allison was asking about Coach Nielsen. You say he's D-line driven. He was up there and you know oh yeah like, yeah cool. yeah what's that like yeah it's cool you know, he coach me he'd be like and, and we eyes at right there <laughs> like he's looking at me inside my face like fix it and so yeah so now he, he he intense man and um i'm definitely enjoying working with him and um just want to continue to uh build our relationship but at the same time have him challenge me to be the best player i can be I was just like going into year nine or at nine mm -hmm. no what what do you want to work on in ot everything. I mean, like, everything everything best the best is still ahead you know what i'm saying um i'm feeling 
I'm feeling great. My drive to be the best I can be is higher than ever. You know what I'm saying? I'm excited to see this team have success. And, you know, as far as long as I've been here, I want to be a part of that, you know? And uh, so it's just I can't let this opportunity slip. So at the end of the day, I got to make sure I got myself right and uh, continue to be better because it's a lot of stuff for me to get better at, and I just can't wait to put it on the field. I know you've been asked about David Onyemata a ton since he's come in here, but to now have him actually on the field beside you, I mean, what kind of sticks out to you, even, you know, without the pads on and everything like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, just, just the type of guy he is, the work ethic that he has, the leadership that he shows working with the young guys, and then I'm learning from him too as far as, because it's helping me because he has history working with Coach Nielsen, you know, so when he wants, when Coach wants something um, to see a certain thing, I can lean on David to show me, you know what I'm saying? So we learn from each other, and uh, but I think the fun, the most fun part is going to be on Sunday is when we go, we go to chase that quarterback together. So I mean, it's, it's a it's a good good match. And though we we got we knew each other over the years, but to be able to play each other, uh, play with each other, is going to be really special. What's something about like his story that kind of you know? I think when I think of you two guys, I feel like y'all stories kind of run parallel with each other. And in, in terms of you entering into the league and kind of being under underdogs to a certain extent, mm -hmm. what about his story do you feel like you either relate to or, or respect? You know, I think you said it. I mean, just the just the underdog mentality. And then coming out of it on the end as a one of the top players at the position, you know what I'm saying, in the, in the league. So I think we, you know, when you got, you know, he been across, across that, across that uh river with the mother folks, <laughs> but he not have came to the good side. Um, so, but for us to be able to put that together, is, I think it's gonna be a match made to heaven. How long before we see him? And what's his forty time? Time now means off. He, he off the charts right now. He look like he a little tired. Out. He would do a little something, but um, but yeah, he he. I mean, shoot, he might be ready by the season. What him think? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but soon come, soon come, soon come, man. It's in him, man. It's in him. Oh, it's in him. It's in yeah, man. Well, the first thing you see is the size, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and that deep, you know, that deep voice, man. Like, what's up? You know what I'm saying? So, like, so but, uh, but no, nah, man, he bring uh, great leadership, you know, great experience, and uh, somebody who came to a team that he believed in. Because when you're at that point in the career, you want to go to a team that's going to win. And he came here for a reason. He believed in the team, and that means a lot to me and uh, I'm sure to other guys as well. Was that, can that be contagious, like that belief? Like absolutely, that's one, absolutely. Like, belief is contagious, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got to believe. If you don't believe, you can't get it done. You know what I'm saying? It's a mindset, and uh, the way you go to work every day is transferred to it. You say it oh. means a lot to you that, that Class decided to come here. Can you speak a little bit more on that? And, and what do you mean when, when you say that? I mean, when, you, when you're dealing with somebody like Khalil, who had as much success as he had, had you know, a lot of options to do you know, the things that he wanted to do in free agency, you know, play another year, and you're at that stage in your career, you know, I mean, for, to come to a place like Atlanta, where from the outside looking in, you know, people don't believe in us, this and that. We believe in ourselves, and on on before have somebody come from the outside and believe in us, that's you know, that's that feels good. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, and then uh, for me to be able to experience playing with a guy like him, you know what I'm saying? I never got a chance to really meet him, but obviously you know who he is, you know. And uh, so for me to be able to pick his brain, whether it's football, off the field, whatever it is, uh, you know, that means a lot. Because for a long time I've been the oldest guy in the room. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So and that's been and I'm. I don't consider myself old, y'all don't, you know what I'm saying? So, so to have that, that big vet in the room, it means a lot, because now I can lean on somebody to learn more, be directed, you know what I'm saying? Somebody, you know, keeping me, holding me to a certain standard, so that's just gonna make me better. Right now, man, I'm saying, but offensively, you're, you're one of the old dudes. Like, what, is right. that different? Like, what's that like, right. just in terms of generally on that? I've been on a, a, a quite a few different teams, like, just through my years, you yeah. know what I mean? Just going on seven, you know, going on year seven, this is the seventh team I've been on. You know, teams change every year. And um, I found that uh, you have the most success, you know, when you have a balance of both. When you have a, a you know, a, a group of, an equal group of younger guys as, as, as well as, you know, some, some older veterans, man, you need both to win. Um, you know, it's, it's, it brings a, a, a combination of, of different, um, you know, multiple, uh, you know, traits and multiple um, just, just things that you can do and, and, and help, you know, get the team to where we ultimately want to go. So. Um, you know, it's uh, you know we, we're a youthful team, man. But we got guys that love football. We got guys that care. Um, we got guys that are selfless. And uh, you know, I'm just uh, you know I'm very uh, you know extremely thankful to be part of this organization. Did, did it surprise you? How
I was 22, I uh, 21. I think Delaney was 33. You know what I mean? So, um, and he had, you know, you know the production that Delaney has had, man. So I, I believe that just a good balance of both, you know, younger and older guys is, uh, you know, the key to, to, to a successful team. There's so much talk about um, position. Concept of being able to move around. I mean, you can play out wide, in line, slot, doesn't matter, fullback. Right. I mean, like, do you think that this offense philosophy works well with your skill set? Yeah, I, I've been in this offense, um, you know, a few years now, and I've had a lot of success in this offense. I'm um, part of the reason why I'm here. And, um, you know, this offense is positionless. And uh, we got, you know, a lot of those young guys that we're talking about can do a lot of different things, man, and they can help us win. So, um, you know, like I said, we're, we're, you know, being positionless, it's also, uh, it comes with a, an attitude of being selfless. You know what I mean? You may not necessarily be um, playing a position that, you know, you've been playing all your life and had so much success at, but, um, you know, it, it's for the betterment of the team. And, and guys, you know, guys in this, you know, room and, and this team, on, guys on this team understand the concept of that. So. And it seems like everybody is running every route type of thing. Like, it, so in terms of, of like of these OTAs, is there a lot of learning, a lot of, hey, I have to master X, Y, F, tight end, you name it's it? It's the NFL, man. Yeah. It's the NFL. It's, it's, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, from the beginning of the time, that playbook's been about this high. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, everybody does their own things. But for the most part, man, it's the NFL. There's nothing new that you can create. You know, you can probably draw it up different ways. But, um, you know, you know, Coaches both on the offense and defensive side have seen everything. You know what I mean? There's not really too much you can create. So um, the guys know that it's the NFL. It's, it's, a, it's a high standard. Um, it, it, that comes with a, a level of grasping the concept of things and understand not only your assignment, but other people's assignments. And, um, you know, what, this, what the defense is doing and, and the why behind certain things, man. So, um, like I said, we got, we got the right guys for that. You've been, you've been around a lot of quarterbacks. Uh, what are your impressions of Desmond Ritter coming in? I'm just curious to get your perspective considering you were not around last year. Well, for a younger guy, man, he, he has a great presence of uh, being a natural leader. You know, uh, you know when he when he talks, you know you, you listen. And, uh, you know that's uh, you know I've been around you know older quarterbacks, younger quarterbacks, and um, you know uh, having leadership qualities is one of the most important traits you can have. Um, probably the clearly the most important trait that you should have as a quarterback. Um, so you know, and he has that man, and, and he's been coming in here working his butt off, um, you know, and just and just progressing each and every day. You know what I mean? And just look, always looking to improve, man. I got nothing but great things to say about Dustin. Great teammate, um, you know, great guy, and great player. Why do you think you and Arthur Smith have clicked? I'm sorry, what'd you say? Why do you think you and Arthur Smith have clicked so well? Why do you think you fit so well on his offense? Um, just time. Belief and, and trust in, in one another. Um, you know, Art is a coach that that puts belief in, in guys, and, and, and you know, coaches kind of miss the concept of that, man. And uh, you know, you oftentimes may not make every play, but them knowing the type of player you are and trusting in you, um, you know, and just you know, continuing to let you unleash and be who you are, man. And uh, you know, I, I think that uh, there's a great testament to who he was in my career, and uh, just you know, just letting me. You know, just 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 push the needle, man, and, and just keep climbing. So, um, I think that's you know we've been just you know always demanded the the, the the highest standard. You know what I mean, out of me, man. And you know he's he's one of the reasons why I've had so much success in this league, man. And you know who he is off the field. You know I can speak for days, man. So that take up this whole interview. So. <laughs> go, go go ahead. What's the first thing that comes to mind? We'll, we'll save it for, for 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 another interview, but I'm trying to catch this flight, man. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you make of a? Uh, we always hear, oh, this isn't real football, not pads yet, but you got, you know, a good amount of fans here. You're in the stadium. What, what are you making of an, event, of an event like this today? No, it was awesome, man. I think, uh, um, you know, oftentimes fans miss the concept of them, like their importance to winning. You know what I mean? Like not not here, not just, you know, if I, just fans all across in, in sports, man. Home field advantage is, is, is a huge factor in winning. Like, I, you know, I don't care how you look at it in pro sports. Home field event is a huge factor in winning, and, and the more we can, you know, pack these crowds and, and pack these stands and, and make the opposing team uncomfortable, you know what I mean? That's an advantage for us, man. So it's, you know, great to be in. It's a, the best stadium I've played in, the best stadium I've been a part of, man. It's great to be uh, a part of this, man, and, and I'm just looking forward to the season. A little light, it didn't open up the roof for you today, but oh, they kept it closed. I don't even know it opens up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I haven't played this in my rookie year. I don't think it's open in to either. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, got a little drop top stadium. Yeah. <laughs> is, is this your first time in, in this building? Or no, no, we played here uh, my rookie year. You did. Okay. Mm -hmm. Talk to you about the workout here today and things you got to be able to do. It was fun, you know, being in the stadium, uh, first time since 2020. So I really kind of forgot how the, how the vibes were in here, but just being out here, feeling the city's love, um, it was amazing. Yeah, yeah. A nice trip to come down here, but it's a business trip. I feel like you guys took care of some business out there today. I think we took a step in the right direction. You know, every time we come on the field, we just have a goal to get 1% better. So I would say, you know, we can put this one in the bank. I know it's a small sample size, but what have your impressions been of Jesse Bates so far and what kind of teammate he is? Jesse's going to be a great leader. I mean, he's someone who's played in a lot of meaningful football games. Um, and I think it's someone, a veteran, that we can all lean on just from his experiences in the NFL. How does that leadership manifest itself so far? I think just be, being able to let us know what he sees back there. Obviously, he plays safety, so he has a bigger right. view of what the offense is trying to accomplish. And, um, you know, he's been impactful for some of the younger guys in our room. I was talking to Coach Gray. He said you're one of the first ones in every morning. You guys spend a lot of time together just talking. Uh, what's that relationship like? Like, can you talk about your relationship with him? It's been great. It's been great so far. Um, Coming in with Coach Gray, um, he's a really cool guy, his personality, uh, more laid back. So I can go in there and have conversations. And, you know, the things that he's telling me is translating to my play on the field. So you know, I'm excited to keep putting in work. Obviously, it's really early right now. So I can only imagine uh, what the progress will be like months from now. Just talk about being able to get a fresh start. Uh, you know, fresh starts, uh, they don't come around often. So I think when you get them, you got to put your best foot forward take advantage of them. So that's what I've been trying to do. That's my mindset every day I step in the building. What's your, you know, when you look at this team, first couple, first three of you had two interceptions, what do you see from this team to be able to make you think that you've been definitely pleased to get a lot more turnovers? I would say that, you know, just the kind of defense we're going to be playing, the windows are going to be tighter. So I, I think, you know, with our D-line, getting to the quarterbacks, the balls are going to come out, it's going to be a lot of tips and overthrows. So with that being said, when you get those kind of plays, you got to take advantage of them. How much do you think it's going to help you have an AJ on the other side of you too? It's going to, put, it's going to push us, you know, to be better every single day. Um, you know, both of us are natural competitors, so when we step on the field, each of us we want to be the best that we could be. Yeah, what has it been like, you know, resetting and uh, you know, being in a new atmosphere here in the South? It's been a great time. It's been a great time. Um, you know, I've, I've had no complaints since I've been here. Um, coming in, embracing this fresh start, like I said, and just having that underdog mentality chip on my shoulder. And Coach uh, Jackson said you're a competitor, you know, wasn't off track, it's just a matter of, uh, you know, getting in there and doing some things. Um, how are you feeling with, uh, you know, the, the fact that, you know, they know you're a competitor and you have the uh, athletic ability to play back? I mean, I think, I think you have to have those traits to play cornerback in the NFL. Mm -hmm. So um, if that's what they're saying, then I'm going to try to prove them right. Anything else? Yeah, I'm just, sorry, I'm trying to get back to you. Have you been asked about Coach Nielsen? Sorry, I couldn't hear you real well back here. No, no, I haven't. Good, I want to ask you about it. The first couple times being out there on the field with Coach Nielsen, I mean, from our seat, he's in there, he's getting his nose right in there. And drills. <laughs> What's it like? What stands out about his style? Energy is super contagious. Um, one thing he's told me a couple weeks ago that stood out to me is that he's a like, competition is a way of life for him. So, you know, every time we step on that field, he wants to compete. I remember my, our first day out OTAs. He, he made a note that, you know, defense was prepared for warm-ups before the offense was, like, so we already beating the offense. So, I mean, I can see that everything he does is going to be a competition. And I think when you have that kind of mindset, it bleeds down to the rest of the defense to where it's like everything, everything's competition, then we, we need to win those challenges. From your perspective, from where you sat, I know you said your agent did most of the work, but did you, mm -hmm. did you feel like any conversations with anybody else were serious from your point of view, any other teams? Oh, yeah. No, my agent, there was, there was a number of uh, good conversations had, and in the end, I, I think I ended up in the right place. Was it a, was it down to one or two teams, or was it just? I, mean, did... uh, I, I don't know how many there were in the very end, just because, you know, it came down to me and my agent both felt like this is the best place for the money I was going to get, and you know what? I, I think he was right. So it wasn't necessarily about how many and who, so to speak. What was what your you comfort like level with? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, Caleb. What make, makes you feel like it was the best place for you to stay? Well, this is where I have most of my experience. You know, I have a lot of time working with Chris, obviously. Uh, a lot of experience with, well, I guess uh, as much as anybody else now, experience with this offense since we changed. But, you know, this is just where the vast majority of my experience is, you know, play time, whatnot. So this is where it would have been easiest to stay. And, you know, on top of that, I didn't have to move. <laughs>
talk about the fact that there's a level of expectation for you guys because of what you achieved last season going into the season with the anticipation that you guys can do of what you can do. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there's belief that we're going to be successful and belief in everything that we're doing here um, as a team. And so we know that we need to go out there and win games. And that's, you know, we're putting our best foot forward every single day to do that. And um, just trying to improve right now is 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 the point, right? So that's the end goal. You know, the end goal is to win a Super Bowl, but how do you get doing that? Um, you obviously have that picture in mind, but then it's day to day working every single drill and moment and then just keep stacking everything. The first time you were on the field with Bijan, what was going through your head? What were the kind of the first raw thoughts that you had watching him play? I mean, he's amazing. Um, I mean, you see all those guys, all the skill guys that we have. It's, it's impressive to watch. Um, I think it's the time when you're set back because you're out there on the field. Sometimes you're doing something. Um, it just feels kind of normal. But when you stand there watching a drill or something like that, we have like 10 seconds of just like off time. And you sit there and watch it. You're like, wow, those guys are really good. <laughs> like, they're really fast. So it's like uh, you see that. And Bichon's great. I mean, um, uh, it was a cool thing. Like he texted the offensive line when he got drafted. I was like, man, that was really cool. Um, and then just he's really, really working really hard every day in and day out and has a great attitude with it. What did he text you? Just happy to work with you. I just thought that was pretty cool. Um, he's, uh, you know, I've known him for only for a couple of weeks, but he's been he's been pretty amazing around the building. You've been around for a while. Has he worked you ever texted you off before? Uh, no, not really, but you get into connections with guys, and guys are great, and um, I think it just kind of really speaks to who Bijan is and everything he's about. Were you able to get that tractor? I did. Yes. Yes, I did. I'm very excited. Um, at the end of OTAs, that month break, I look forward to using it. So I'll, uh, I'll have to post a picture for you guys. So you got like, was it some fancy tractors or normal, what kind of tractors you get? Uh, I got a normal, uh, well, it's like somewhat in between. So I, in mass, I, I got a long driveway in the winter. So I'm going to use, I got a little front loader on the front to plow my driveway in the winter. So yeah, it's the small things. No more shuffles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And uh, did anyone ask you uh, about Desmond, like uh, in his second year, kind of what have you seen? I know he had four games last year, but when we were talking to Caleb, he said it's the small sample size of what you guys are going to be able to do this season. Yeah, um, you know, as an offensive lineman, communication is the biggest part. And so um, as long as we're all on the same page, Desmond's communicating that. If something comes up, um, just the tone of voice really is it, like the command of that. Um, he's really he's really been great and appreciative uh, as an offensive lineman the, the way he goes into it. Um, I don't know anything about quarterbacking, but like he does a really great job as a teammate. Um, and you know you can't ask for anything better than, than what Des does.